how to send emails using the send grid. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, let's see how we can do this. Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's see how we can get started with the send grid. It's an amazing place to actually make some great content. If you have already talked about the MailChimp application, for example, this one is a little bit not that accurate, but it's uh, have like some tool that can be helping you to get started. So in order to get started, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so we can try this tutorial for free. So once you click down below, it's going to be appearing something like this. So what you want to do is to type your email address as well as your passcode as well as hey i'm not robert you want to accept the terms of service and you want to create your account a really really easy step then what we want to do is to choose all the options that tell us about yourself i want to input my first my last name my company name company website and just want to just fail the one that appears into this red icon then you can change that and skip that part later and then what you want to do is to type the get started button so now that we have successfully done that, we're now good to go with the dashboard board. So here in the dashboard are just like two tasks, a few tasks that we can just fail in order to have everything now successfully completed. So let us just jump right ahead and start working here. So we have, for example, to set up your account. So I want to do the create identity of how people are going to be receiving our emails and how we're going to be um, introduced to you. I want to start a sender. For example, let's say team works. From email address, I want to choose, let's say, teams at um, support.com. Reply to, I want to type uh, welcome, company address, sender has been created. So I want to go into verify the sender identity, check your inbox just to check it out. This one has a actual uh, sender already added. So we click into the close button. And here, as you can see, we have the address, we have a nickname, we have the sender and the verified. So if I create a new sender, this one is going to be just like making some link between from one email that you have already added into the send grid that you have already uh, created. I want to focus into the mailing sending options. We can use the web API or we can use some marketing campaigns in order to start uh, making some receipts in the inbox. So we do have the account set up. So what we want to do is to verificate our email, authenticate our domain, set up the two-factor authenticator and add a payment method in order to get started. Once we have successfully done that, we're going to be moving into the email API. So this um, API is going to be helping me to create some dynamic templates so I can start designing, personalize and manage my emails that can be sent using my API call. So if I type the create a dynamic template, let's say for example, this is just uh, like a welcome uh, email, I'm going to hit into create. And as you can see, we have now created our dynamic template. So here you can see I have the template of my welcome email, and this is my template ID. So what we need to do is to add a version to this dynamic template in order to start editing its content. So type into add your version, and here we have your email designs and send grid email designs. So what you want to do is to look out for send grid email designs. So you can look for something that it can be really, really easy to use. So for example, since this is like a welcome, like thank you so much for subscribing, or this is like our newsletter, I want to look for the this one that says thank you. And here, what I want to do is to choose two things. If you know how does the code editor works, you can choose this one, or look out for the design editor, which is something much more faster, and we can access to HTML when we need it to. So I'm going to type for select of the design editor, and automatically it's going to be popping up this new section where you can just start to edit all my columns. For example, here I have my thank you note, I have my actual column and I have my note and I have a lot of buttons here down in here. So what I want to do is to choose the option that says design and here I want to look out for build. Here in the build, you can add different models, you can add some global styles and you can add some advanced tools, for example, like the HTML head file, too, which we talked before. So I want to just focus into the very first content. So if I go into the very first part, I want to choose this column. And here is the alternative text. Let's say this is our link to our company padding. I want to leave it like that. And here, what I want to do is to go into the three dots. And instead of choosing one column, I'm going to be choosing two of them. Now let's focus into adding now models. So if I choose this column, for example, I'm going to be choosing this one that says delete and I will no longer see it. But still, I need to find a way that I can welcome my actual email or senders. So what I want to do is to look out for belt 
And here in the build, I want to look out for add models and look out for imaged. So I want to drag and drop in here and boom, automatically it's going to be choosing the choose image to upload. I choose this one and I have the image details. I have the file name, the upload, the dimensions, the image URL, and there we go. So now what I can do is to add a text like this one here and I can import that into the very bottom part where I can just choose to let's say welcome to our mailing list and then I want to actually start to edit this content. Now I want to see how it's going to be looking. So as you can see it doesn't look so bad after all right. So now if you want to add like a button I want to choose this this for option that says button and here, let's say for example that I want to choose this button text and I want to, instead of choosing the button text, let's say, let's say I want to use shop now. Now, I am not like a lot of a sailor, but I can strongly suggest to you if you want to add like a button, first of all, you want to bring value to your content and then you have the action button that you can add later. So let's say that I want to move this element down in here after I bring some value to my people. So I'm gonna move that here. So there we go. We have the welcome, we have the image, we have the content, and then we have the shop now. So this column, gonna make this into the upper side, and there we go. So if I want to just change more stuff, I just need, as you can see, I just need to click into the column that I want to edit, and here into the left part, it's gonna appear into all the tools that you can use to change that. For example, here's the Facebook URL, and I want to change that instead of choosing SendGrid, I want to choose my own, the Twitter page, the Instagram page, the Pinterest, as well as the LinkedIn page URL. And lastly, guys, as you can see, this is how it's gonna be working. You can take your time to edit as much as you wanted to in order to get started with mailing list. After you have successfully created that, you want to use the option that says preview. Now here into the preview, this is how it's gonna be looking into our desktop. I want to choose the option that says mobile and as you can see this is how it's going to be looking. The scroll option, it doesn't look so bad after all. If you see that there's something weird, you can do that later, you can change that. I'm going to go back into my dynamic templates and here I have this template. As you can see this one says active and here I have the three dots. I can edit, preview, duplicate and delete. So lastly guys, if you want to get started, now starting to sell and send your actual templates that you have created into the marketing section, what you want to do after you make, of course, the verification and the confirmation of your actual uh, account is going to appear in something that says review. Your account is under review and we'd like to know a little bit more about you and how you intend to use this one. So what you want to do is to choose this option to, to contact them and help them to just get started or just need to wait a few hours in order to they can improve your actual content and you can start working here. After that, it's going to be appearing all your administration user details. We have the unsubscribe groups, the help links, everything inside the dashboard and you can see all the different requests, the delivered, open, clicked, balance, spam reports and much more. So now guys, with that being said, this is how we can get started into the send grid. This is, as you can see, like a great place to get started and if you want to make some integrations into some web address or something like that, is to focus into the email API, look out for the integration guide and here is going to be appearing a few instructions that you want to do in order to choose a setup method. With that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more great applications like the send grid and more email marketing stuff. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.